an over the range microwave is too high for any user. Um, I'm going to give you just, well, I don't want to go into a lot of detail with you right now because I'll go into a lot more detail with you later. So please stay tuned for other um, uh, videos. I'll have a video coming out very soon called Planning Your Kitchen Like a Pro, which will be um, much more in depth about all factors, including this one. Okay. Number three. The other functional is that <laughs> the ventilation on our over-the-range microwave is terrible. Um, the CFMs might be 300, maybe 400 CFMs. Um, the trouble is most of the time, um, again, I'm going into a lot of detail here, but most of the time it's not ventilating outside, it's recirculating. And recirculating ventilation has never really been great. Um, safety. Um, you've probably seen kids or you yourself have done it when you were a kid climb on top of the range to use the microwave. Well, you know, whether that's a gas cooking surface or electric, um, I probably don't need to explain why that's so concerning. Um, a flare up, if you have a, you're cooking, um, you know, stir fry and you get a big flare up that comes from your cooking surface or your oil in your, uh, in your pot catches fire, which happens a lot. Um, then uh, many times um, there have been flare-ups that have actually burned or destroyed the over-the-range microwave. And then the last one, which is my opinion, it doesn't look so good. <laughs> what are your options for microwaves instead of being over the range? Let's just go through a few pictures to show some examples. Here is an under-counter microwave drawer. What's great about this is you have prep space right above it. It doesn't uh, break up your countertop at all. Um, and the microwave is usable for most users. Um, it's great because you can reach from up above, see the food without having to dig into anything or having to reach inside a cavity of a microwave. Great uh, technology, great um, invention. Highly recommend considering this for an island or almost any other application where you can fit them. Uh, a microwave um, in a wall cap or in, in a tall cabinet like an, a wall oven. Um, the great thing about this application you see in this photo is that there's landing space next to it. Um, again, a great use of space. Uh, a microwave is such a heavily used item um, in a kitchen. And because of that, I think sometimes it deserves its own landing space just like an oven does. Here's another one. Now, this one is set... Um, as a microwave above, or sorry, as an over the range microwave placement might be. So again, as far as the height is concerned, I don't like this as much. I can't remember how this microwave opens, if it's a side opening door, um, if it opens another way. I'll show you a picture of another one that might uh, blow your socks off as far as creative um, opening um, technology. Um, however, um, the not one nice thing about this is that it is not fighting workspace with the cooking surface and the oven. The next one, um, under the counter, um, but a raised under the counter microwave. Now this is an older picture, uh, not a great, you know, uh, finished photography here, but this is a project I did many, many years ago. Um, but again, getting that microwave to a height that's usable for the, um, for, for any user, you can see it's really close to landing space above it and adjacent to it. Um, but we're getting the height within the range that's ideal. Did you know the ideal location or height of a microwave is actually countertop? <laughs> so, um, and then this one here, you can't, can't see in the picture very well, but there's a microwave right here in the upper right-hand corner. Um, pretty common um, application for doing a microwave with a wall oven combination. Again, what's nice about that is... Um, you don't use the wall oven or an oven as nearly as often as you do a microwave or a cooking surface. And so because of that, you know, you can do a pretty good job of, of not competing with workspace just with the oven alone. Uh, and another one like that as well. Okay. The last one I want to show you, Oh, actually I have two more. Here's another one. This is an older project you see with the little, the old TV here, but we did a raised uh, under counter microwave, same scenario as the other photograph I showed you last picture a little bit of a treat here um, this is a compact kitchen here and see this beautiful european uh, microwave unit it brings the um, cooking item down to you what a great way to counter the um the situation with with height and accessibility um, and of course um, having clear countertop space so there are so many options out there by the way if you want to know what brand that is i don't know if they still make it but that's a gaganaw 
Um, this is quite some time ago, but still beautiful technology. So hopefully that helps you in your pursuit of trying to find the best way to handle the microwave situation in your kitchen. And please like, subscribe, and share. I want to share more with you of what I know.